Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of RV Tips and Trips. Today I want to go over a, uh, a safety feature of trailers. I've seen this situation uh, happen a couple of times and I've gone over and helped people with it and then discovered that this simple little problem could cause a big problem. So the other day uh, I was sitting in my camper and uh, there was this rig pulling up, going to move into the site right next to us, and they were trying to maneuver the trailer. It was a tow behind. And I noticed, uh, I looked out the window, and I noticed that the wheels were locking up on the trailer. Um, what what uh, made me look out the window was that it was making a uh, noise. So uh, I went out and uh, talked to the guy, and sure enough, as he was... Uh, moving the trailer it uh, the wheels were locking up and so and he was kind of upset thinking oh my gosh i mean this is a brand new rig what's going on <laughs> so after closer investigation and like i said this is not the first time i have found this um, that I've, I've helped other campers with the same exact thing and it is the breakaway switch was the problem all right so the breakaway switch well on the fifth wheel is on the post with the kingpin and this is it right here and basically it's a switch with a cable the cable attaches to some other part of the tow vehicle and if for some reason the trailer separates from the uh, tow vehicle the cable pulls the pin out. There's a pin right here. Just pulls out. Whoop, like that. A little plastic piece. Now that was in there pretty good, actually. And when that happens, this switch closes. It's the normally closed switch. So this pin here holds, holds the contacts of the switch in the open position. Okay, now this is keyed. It only goes in a certain way. There it goes. All right, back in it goes. All right. So this is in series with your electric brakes and the 12 volt house batteries. So even if the trailer disconnects from the truck and the power cord pulls out, uh, the batteries that are on board will operate the brakes and they will uh, lock up basically because it will apply full power to them So it is the exact same switch as what you'll find on a tow behind vehicle as well you'll find it on the the a point of the uh, Trailer on the tow behind trailer with the cable and then they attach the other end to some part of the vehicle problem I noticed with this guys was that this cable was tight. And with that being tight, you go to make a turn, it pulled on that switch and pulled that uh, plastic piece out, that pin out, and locked the brakes. Now, it wasn't fully out, so you didn't notice it right away. It was only partially out. So if you pull this, this one doesn't want to come so easy. Yeah. So, it was partially out. Whoops, that locks in real good. I think mine works a little snugger than, than his. But it wasn't all the way out. It was just partially out. And I took a close look at it. I noticed the pin was part way out. I pushed it back in and it released the brakes. So um, can't have it taut like that. It's gotta be loose. So when you turn and pivot, that this cable doesn't pull that pin out. So whether you got a tow behind or you got a fifth wheel, this cable has to be loose. So like I said, I mean, it seems simple enough, but like I said, this is the second time I've helped somebody uh, with that situation. So um, if you're a newbie, watch out for this. Even experienced campers can overlook something as simple as this but boy he was really lucky 
that this didn't happen on the highway somewhere, that it happened at the campground, um, just as he was trying to maneuver into a space. So he, he got lucky. So if that pin had pulled out while on the highway, disaster could have ensued. So, all right. All right, so that's just a quick tip for today. And uh, hope you learned something. And I'll catch you next time. Bye now.